I got all the tables in my database Northwind. But my application is currently pointing to ASP.NET DB because I have those settings in my machine.config file. Now I need to override those settings in my web.config file. I need not to change anything in machine.config file. I need to have overridden all those settings in my machine.config file. So how do I do that? I can simply go to my machine.config file. I can open it. I'll say browse with Visual Studio 2008. From this, I will copy connection string first. I have my connection string available here. I'll copy connection string in my web.config file. I'll just comment out this connection string first. Or let this connection string be available as it is. Paste that. I'll remove this tag. Already we have connection string tags available. So I have copied the connection string. Save this. Next, I will copy few providers. Those are nothing but membership providers and profile provider role manager. We need these three tags. So I'm copying all these three tags from machine.config file in my web.config file and I'll paste it in system.web as already I have role manager copied here I don't want this role manager anymore I can simply say role manager enabled equals to true save this Now, if you observe this web.config file, this is your connection string, local SQL server name, and my membership provider name is ASP.NET SQL membership provider. And its connection string name is the same as SQL local SQL server right that means my ASP.NET SQL membership provider is pointing to this SQL that means whatever I am creating the users those are getting created in local SQL server in the same way profile in future we will see profiles as well so it is also pointing to local SQL server and the roles what all the roles we are creating again that is also pointing to local SQL server connection string now I don't want it to point to local SQL server connection string. I want it to point to my database. So I'll name it as my con str, my connection string. Data source is localhost slash SQL express. Integrated security is true and initial catalog that is nothing but the database name is Northwind, right? and rest of the things I don't need integrated security equals to true I'll set provider name that's it so I have set my connection string now this connection string is pointing to Northwind database. So I'll change the database name to Northwind. Now what is that I will do? 
Now I'll change this connection string name to my honest here. Here also I'll change the connection string name to my honest here. And here also I'll change the connection string name to my honest. And this provider name ASP.NET SQL membership provider this name is already there in machine.config file. It's like declaring a variable. So I cannot have two variables with same name. So I'll rename this to my ASP.NET SQL membership provider. Even this name I'll change it to my ASP.NET SQL membership provider. My SQL role provider. Even this I'll have my. These are the settings that you need to do in your web.config file. Now let's go for our ASP.NET configuration tool. If I say securities, it says that there are three users and two roles. Now where are these? These are in our ASP.NET DB, not in our North Wind. Let us check our North Wind ones. In North Wind, I'll just right click and say show table data in roles. We do not have any roles available here. But it is saying that there are two roles. So these roles are in ASP.NET DB. You check this DB. It means what? It is still pointing to ASP.NET DB. It is still pointing to ASP.NET DB. Now I need to change it to North Wind. So I have done few settings in web config file. Right. Now let us see this. So you have roles available here. Now it means that it is still pointing to ASP.NET DB. Now how do I change that? I should go for providers. So now we have got two providers. One provider is in machine.config file and another provider is in web.config file. Those we have created just now with the help of my providers. My, my, we have given my prefix to that. So I'll go for providers. I'll say select a different provider for each feature. I'll go for advanced topic in this advanced link. Currently it is pointing to the provider which is there in machine.config file. But I want to change it to the provider that I have created just now, my. Let us test the connectivity. Connection succeeded. I'll say OK. In the same way, I'll set SQL role provider also to my ASP.NET SQL role provider. Test the connectivity. Connection succeeded. I'll say OK. Now I'll go for the security tab. Now you should see zero roles and zero users. That means now it is pointing to my North Wind database. I can create roles from here. Admin, add, let's go back. I'll create only single role admin. I'll create a user, Jack, assign the role as admin and say create user. Back. Close this. Stall. Now, if you observe North Wind roles table, you should find the role admin in this. Role admin is available. That means now my providers are nothing but Northwind database providers. It is pointing to Northwind database. Now I do not need this ASP.NET DB anymore. I can simply delete this. Now I'll execute this. It should log in properly using my Northwind database. I log in with Jack.
that's it it's working fine it means that I'm using my database and we have seen how to merge our ASP.NET DB in our Northwind database or whatever the database that we have and how to set all those things with the help of web.config file and machine.config file now let us see few settings in our membership provider I will go for web.config file if you see this membership provider it has got many attributes I'll say enable password retrieval false it is set to false that means you cannot retrieve the password if you forget the password enable password reset true if I set it to false nobody can uh, you know reset the password now anyway the interesting thing is here requires question and answer is set to true that means it will ask security question and security answer I'll set it to false now whenever I go and create a user it will not prompt me for security question and security answer say create user it will automatically remove security question and security answer field from here I'll go for the login page I'll execute this I'll say new user sign up even here by default automatically it has removed security question and security answer fields so it is going to reflect everywhere I'll go for web.config file and I'll say maximum invalid password attempts I can change it to 10 15 20 whatever I want or make it 2 by default it is 5 we have seen in our earlier video minimum required password length is 7 if you try to give a password which is less than 7 character it will not accept it minimum required non alpha numeric character is 1 that means you need to give at least one non alpha numeric like I am giving at the rate symbol at symbol in my every password if you observe I have been giving at symbol if I do not give at symbol it will not accept it I can set it to 0 it will accept then requires unique email is set to false that means if at all I have a user created with an email ID I cannot create another user with same email ID if unique email address is set to true it will say that this email address already exists in the database you cannot create a user with same email address again but it is set to false that's why I am giving the same email address for all the users that is possible so those settings can be done here so this is all about your login controls and how to merge your ASP.NET DB in our Northwind database or whatever the database we are working with. Thank you very much.